Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. And this video is going to be just a, a very brief one on cutting sections through 3D objects. Um, really, it amounts to two steps. Once you have your object created, like I have here, is you first need to define a cutting plane, and then you come back and cut your section. So it's not something that's done all in one uh, type of step or command. Uh, when you're in your 3D uh, menu, you'll see this up here, section plane, and that is the first thing you need to create. Now, uh, to make mine a little bit easier, I'm gonna go back and go to wireframe because I wanna cut a section through this opening and I wanna be able to see this opening on this side. So I'm going to go section and it's asking for a point, and I'm going to type in CEN for center. And then I can go CEN on this one. And once I click on that, as you can see, it's cutting that section right there. Now I'm going to go back to realistic, uh, and it shows this plane cut right there. Okay. Now. I'm going to, and this, the object is still there, okay, um, see there's, there's actually the object moving, what it's doing is it's, it's just showing you what the section uh, is going to look like, okay, um, so now if I come up here to section, and I want to generate a section, and I want it to be, first of all, I've got to select that plane, so I'm going to select this plane, and I'm going to want a 3D section. I hit Create, and just click this off to the side, hit Enter, because I'm not changing anything about it, and there is my final product of my 3D section that's been cut. Uh, I can also go back to this, and generate a by selecting that plane and going to a 2D which as you can see it creates these two um, hit enter here and get these here and I'm not sure why it's showing both of these but uh, it should only be showing one uh, but this is the the basic uh, workings of a section cutting a section if I was to erase this plane right here, as you can see, the object comes back. Uh, again, if I want to come and cut a section, let's just say I want to do it, uh, let's go to midpoint, MID of here. And, well, that's not what I wanted. Let me, let me erase that. We're going to go plane and we're going to just cut right there. For some reason, it's going a little woggly on me. Let me see if I just cut it outside. Let me turn these O snaps off. See if that helps a little bit. So I'm going to cut right through this. As you can see, I'm just going to kind of cut through the section. And now I can go to, and I can actually rotate it around. You can kind of see what our section is going to look like. Um, this is some other work I was doing earlier just in case this one didn't work as I wanted it uh, and I can go to section generate a section select this cutting plane we'll go with a 3D create and I think because it's still showing there we go I must have cut the back end of it. Generate a, another section. I think it's because I've got my other planes on here and I need to get rid of all of this.
And these are the things as an AutoCAD student you want to uh, uh, play around with and see. Uh, there will be um, settings that are right here, okay? And you can work on those. That was just like on, say, your um, dim di uh, dimensions, which, see if I can find annotate right here. You see this arrow to the bottom corner is where you have settings, okay? So in this case, you can go to these settings. But remember, the first thing you need to do is cut a plane, or I'm sorry, show a cutting plane where you're going to cut it. And then you come back and uh, select that and do whichever way you want to, uh, you know, if you want to do generate a section or extract edges or add a jog or anything else, depending on what kind of section that here's one with the jog in it to where if you want to um, have it to where it gets a little bit more of this instead of just a straight line section. So again, I know this is kind of a quick uh, run over of how to cut the sections, but just remember that it is a two-step uh, operation to where you have to define what the cutting plane is and then come back and decide how you want to use it to create uh, either your 2D or 3D section. And that concludes my video on uh, 3D section plane.